Hello YouTube and welcome to your third Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering some simple math operators. So we'll select a console application to keep things simple and we'll just call it math. So let's go ahead and press enter. Okay, so let me zoom in here on our main method. Uh, something's going wrong here. It's sometimes it disappears like that for a while. I don't know why but uh, anyways, let me zoom in Okay, so we'll go ahead and come down here and let's create a variable So we'll call it int num1 and let's set it equal to 5 And let's create another int so int num2 is going to be equal to 6 Okay, so now what we can do is we can use these numbers in math. So we can create another variable. So we'll do int answer, and we can set that equal to num1 plus num2. So what this is going to do is it's going to get the values of each of those, and using this addition operator, it's going to add them together. So it's adding 5 plus 6. So answer is going to be equal to 11. Now you can also use math operators um, with using numbers instead of just variables. So we can say num1 is going to be equal to 5 plus 12. So this is going to set num1 equal to 17. So if we go ahead and do console.writeline, we'll write line answer. And then we will write num1. So console dot write line num1. And we'll do console dot read line so that it waits for us to press enter before it continues to the next piece of code. Since there is no code underneath that, it'll just close. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here we get the value 11. And then we get the value 17. Because answer is 5 plus 6 is 11. And then num1 is reassigned after that. So after num1 is reassigned, it's going to be equal to 17. Now, we can also increment num1. So let's say you want to add a certain value to num1. Well, what you can do is you can type num1 equals num1 plus 5. So what this is going to do is going to say num1 is equal to 5 plus 5, or num1 plus 5. So let's say num1 was equal to 6, it would now be um, 11. So it would be 6 plus 5, which would be equal to 11. Now you can also do this in shorthand. So if you want to add a certain number to a variable, you can just type plus equals 5. So what this does is it says take 5 and add it to the variable num1. So num1 would now be equal to 10. So let's go ahead and run this. See we've got the answer which is 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. And then we've got 10 right there. Now there are other math operators that we can use. To multiply values, we use the asterisk or shift 8. We can go ahead and run this and 5 times 6 is equal to 30 and then there's num1 which is equal to 10. Now we can subtract numbers so 5 minus 6 is going to give us a value of neg negative 1 because integer values can hold negative 1 or negative numbers. We can use division but you can see here that if we divide 5 by 6 we're going to get a decimal number so in order to prevent this from automatically rounding the decimal number up we can create this create answer as a double so it's going to take 5 divided by 6 and it's going to give us a um, a uh, decimal value so 5 divided by 6 or let's go ahead and see here. We'll do num2 divided by num1. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here um, that I was wrong there. But if you create this as a double, it's still going to do integer math right here because these are integer, integer values. So it cannot create a uh, double out of that. Now you can also add um, double values to integer values. 
So any type of number values, you can add them together. So we can say double answer equals 5.5 plus num1. So num1 is an integer value, and then we have 5.5. So answer is a double value, so it should equal 10.5. See here, we need to end that with a semicolon. So you see here we get 10.5. So any type of number data types, um, and if you looked at the chart that was in the description of my last tutorial, you could see all the different data types, um, the primitive data types in C, C sharp. So we can add ints and doubles, and it'll still give us a valid number. Now, there's also what's called modulus. So modulus divides numbers and then gives you the remainder. So if we divide 5, or let's divide 6 by 5. And to use modulus, you do shift 5 or the percent sign. So it's going to do 6 divided by 5 and give us the remainder. And you see that the remainder is 1. So let's go ahead and do another demonstration of this. So if we do 25 or let's do 4 and then 25 so if we take 25 divided by 4 that's going to give us a remainder of 1 so you can see here 4 can go into 24 so 6 times and then you have 1 left over so go ahead practice a little bit with this shorthand math you can also use it with other math operators such as multiplying the number by 5 um, use modulus um, add different data types to each other um, and in the next tutorial we're going to be working with um, string uh, addition if you want to call it it's called concatenation in programming so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial